Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My today's video is more focused on power users that could be managers, project leads who wish to maintain their project within Azure DevOps with the working items to look at the boards of the tasks, issues, and want to have some sort of automation using Power Automate to create those issues or bugs inside Azure DevOps in an automated way whenever some message is posted to their common Teams channel. So right now you can see I have logged into my dev.azure.com and over here, if you are uh, not familiar with the Azure DevOps, then probably uh, this could be a starting point for you. So Azure DevOps gives you an extensive way of managing your project end to end, starting from uh, registering your project, then having the initial stories added to that uh, so that you can track those stories in a Kanban fashion with the cards. And later, like if, if uh, you are having a team of developers, then they can very well leverage Azure DevOps to as, a, as a, their repository to maintain their code and uh, all along like uh, to move any of the development artifacts from one environment to other environment in an automated fashion that can also be leveraged. So right now, like I'll be focusing on the project management part where I have this screen open where I have options of creating a new organization. So if a default one, it must be your organization itself. But if you wish to create isolate by department, then you can very well create a new organization. And under that, you have options uh, of looking at the projects which are either you are part of or you are administrating those projects. I have option to create a new project. So right now I have already created one marketing calendar project for me. And if I click on that, it gives me a overview screen where I can see like on the left hand navigation, I have the summary, dashboard, boards, repos. These repos are a code repository where we can do the push, pull and commit the changes. Pipelines in an automated way, we can deploy the artifacts and uh, the task plans we can create. So right now, as I said, like I would be uh, more focused about the boards because we are going to do the automation and the automation scenario is like uh, whenever uh, you are having one uh, team channel. So whenever somebody is posting, probably like your manager or tester and that post is mentioning you, then automatically one of the task item or the issue item would be created under your project. So the, there's a very valid uh, scenario and uh, always like true, like whenever you develop some project, you actually have uh, testers or QA involved in the project. So they want to, uh, they may want to have an automated way. They can just like push their message within teams. So for example, at the rate, uh, Christian like mentioning me, there is a bug into this uh, module, please take a look. So rather than like uh, having them uh, logged into the site, and then create those items, you can simply like put up one power automate in place that can mine the message content and can create a story or a, or a, or a bug uh, for you. So right now I've just clicked on the board. If you look at it, like I have these three pieces, epic issue and task. So probably let's say like it's a testing phase or you had phase and your user uh, acceptance testing, they want to create an issue for you. So by default, like they have to come into or on this board and then create and you may uh, don't wish to provide them access. So what you can do, you can just create a common Teams channel. For example, this tool dev release point one and the uh, users or the testers which want to uh, raise any issue, they can simply push their issue. For example, I can start a new conversation. I can say at the rate, let's say my colleague's name, there is, there is an issue in dashboard. And you can very well elaborate that issue over here. So whenever a person is just hitting enter, so I want to have some automated way the task should be created with the assigned to that person whom I am mentioning over here in the teams in the same way as we do as manually issue tasks or task creation. So that's the requirement. That's where we would be doing the automation. So for that automation, I would be relying on uh, Microsoft Cloud Flows for Automate. So I have just opened this make.powerautomate.com. And as I said, like it's for power users, they can simply have their flows in place. And uh, if I go to create, now we have a new way of creating flows, like rather than like having or knowing about these automated instant cloud flow schedule flow type, I can simply click on this, describe it and design it. 
So as I said, like whenever a post or message is posted to my channel, then this Azure DevOps project task issue should be created. So how we can do that? I can just start writing that into a natural language. That is when post a message in Teams. Right now you can see it has started giving me suggestions over here. And I recently searched for this one. So it has given me otherwise, like you can simply say when someone posts a message to Steam channel, then create Azure DevOps task. So you can simply choose from the listed options. So I have, I can just choose this one. When a post message in Teams, then it should create it. So trigger it automatically detected what should be a trigger. It should be a message into G Teams channel and action should create a task into Azure DevOps. So I'm just clicking on next. And over here, it's actually uh, reviewing the connections. And if I click on next, it has started giving loading up and the option says like which team you want to select. So as I said, like my team is tool dev release point one as I wish to like track the issues related to my this dev development, whatever development is going on. I can say simply channel is general and I wish to create a task into what I wish to create a task into my default organization and the project name is marketing calendar. Let's say I'm developing some marketing calendar tool and work item. What should be? It should be. It should be, let's say issue or task. You can define like if you wish to just have one simple task or issue, you can have that in place. So I can just simply say that issue. So a tester found some issue or you had person found some issue and as soon as the post is uh, the message is sent to that particular team channel, it should create a task. So it will work well like if you have normal message. So right now you can see like I have message subject as already added as title for the task. If I expand it, I have this description added as content but assigned to field and all other fields are blank. So I have to like do some tackling so that I can actually automate this where the whomever I'm assigning or mentioning into my team's message, that person should have this task. So I'm just going to my this. So right now you see like I have uh, actually pressed like at the rate my colleague's name and there is an issue. So I want this task to be assigned to this person. So for that, you have to done some, uh, you have to do some tweaking. So I just go back to my flow and minimizing it. So right now what I'm doing, so I would be using help of uh, one compose action because first of all, I wish to like extract that mentioned person name. So for doing that, I should be knowing like what is my output. So in compose, I would just be adding that mentioned item or you can use this message mentions as well. So if I just use message, message mentions and save it and just for testing, I would be running so that I can see like what is the output of this compose because I am going to actually parse this output to extract that particular person. So let's, let's have one test message or post posting into my this generic teams channel. So I'll just say, new issue found and pressing enter. I'll just wait for my trigger to my flow to run and I'll just go back and it may take 30 to 60 seconds. Okay, so our flow ran successfully. I just open this because we wish to look at compose. So in compose, you can see like uh, we use the mention and in mention we have this output as session and which is having the user uh, display name and the user ID because this based on this user ID, we are going to actually extract this user's email address and which we can in turn use to create the task under Azure DevOps. So I can just go to the Azure DevOps screen uh, once so that I can show you that uh, because we, we just ran our flow. So one task must be created. So right now you can see like I have this task created 
So this is having title HTML. So though like we can remove this HTML from the title, but in the body it's rendering well because it handles the HTML part as well in the description. So we'll remove this piece uh, using uh, some substring option uh, operations within Power Automate to create this task using this. Or we can simply like use the message subject instead of message body into the title. So that we can do. So I am just editing this flow again and copying this output so that I can use this output while parsing my JSON. So I'm just editing it. So in next action, I will simply use parse JSON. And under this parse JSON, we are going to again use that mentions, message mention and the schema we will generate from sample and sample we just copied from the last run. So this was the sample. So I'm just clicking done. So this parse season output would give me the actual email address uh, with a variable. So uh, let's let's actually just define one variable, initialize one variable as string where I would be reading the initialize variable. And let's say where email or assign to email. And I'll just say that as string. And after that, in parse JSON, after parse JSON action, we can simply use get user profile. And user profile would be based on the object ID which we are getting via our parse JSON. So first one ID is the mention ID so we would not be using this one but this second ID is the object ID of that user the assigned to person. So it automatically binded because it can be multiple assignments can be there. So what you can do in the next action we can append either you can if you are expecting just one assignment you can simply use that at set variable or otherwise if you wish to like have multiple mentions then probably what you can do like you can just simply say like append to string variable and over here we would be using the id which we got not the id we would be using the email which we got from this get user action so mail is the property so now we have this uh, append to variable string set to our assigned to person in create item now I can go to the subsequent step and expand this so that I can assign this person the assign to person field with variable assigned to email so now this email would be assigned and if I click on save now you should assure that the person who you are who you are assigning should have the actual rights onto your this project so I can go back to marketing calendar and I just check for my members so i have these two people in members so if you wish to like assign tasks to somebody so just make sure that that person should be already added as a member of your this uh, project then only that person would be able to have those tasks so over here you can see like uh, i directly you can type in the name of any person which is there in your environment you can simply select that can choose the teams like which type of uh, the membership you want to provide. So this would be a direct access via this team. I can simply say okay and add. So I have these three members for my this marketing calendar project. I can assign any task to these three members. So let's go back. We have already saved it. Now I can rename it that uh, automate issue creation in Azure DevOps. So now again we will run the operation. We will just create and this time we are expecting that assignment the, the, the board the assignment should have instead of unassigned it should have some person assigned. So I'll just rerun the same one the last instance because we are going to just create the task using this last instance only and let's resubmit and it will take the updated code which we updated to get the assigned to from mentioned string. So 
So it ran successfully. We can go inside, refresh our board. Now you can see like I have this assigned to person, assigned to, to the, this new task. And as I said, like uh, you can very well trim down this uh, HTML. So you have to just use the substring operation. So inside, while uh, you can have one more compose action where you can do the expression using substring. For example, compose data operation, you can just go to inputs and over here you can just use substring, substring, and you can provide the body, message body. If I scroll down from these options, see more. So substring of this message body and you can define like it from where like it should extract. So you can actually identify the uh, index of your at operation. So as, you, as uh, over here, you can see like at is already mentioned over here. So you can identify the at op index of at and then split via that index till this at and at tag. So this will remove this entire one and you would be just left with the actual issue description. So you can uh, split or do the substring using this expression and then have this title in place, whatever you want. So this was a quick video to just uh, make you aware like uh, these sort of automation you can actually put in place. If you're a project manager lead and you wish to have all the chats which is actually uh, happening into, into your UAT, uh, this tool release UAT, then that should align or bind it up with one task then have this uh, quick automate in place and you can also do uh, like only the, 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 the task should only be created when somebody is assigning somebody is doing a actually at the rate and then assigning that person name then in this flow the same flow which we are using like we we can actually do a check like whether our message body contains at or not so this at should be there if it contains then you can actually uh, have your flow uh, triggered. Otherwise, like you can just stop it. So the, the uh, action I can actually very well show you like what I meant by this thing. So the substring part, which I was telling you, you can just simply extract the index of your body having at. All right. And then just have after the substring, you can have close place that into title and this will actually again works well like if you use the contains if contains substring of your this ad then if that is that contains then you can simply have your flow triggered so you can keep on modifying your flow uh, based on your requirement what what you wish to like how you want uh, to automate the stuff but this was a high level summary how you can glue everything into place and create the work items in an automated way so that is it for today. If you still have questions, then do drop your comments. I'll try to answer. Thank you.